Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going over the Fortune Block Breaker. An initial design um, that I found from Jassassin. Um, I was in the middle of making something a lot more complicated. Because <laughs> um, I didn't know about a certain block that he was using that kind of made things a little easier. Now, if you're using Quarry Plus with the Silk Touch Enchant, uh, you need a way of breaking those blocks down using Fortune um, is the best thing you want to do. Now, uh, the Breaker Plus, you can add a Fortune Enchant to, which is very nice. The downside is you got to apply Redstone Signal every time you want to break the block. Um, I'm using the auto placer from random things. I think that's the best placer there is. For those that are not, not familiar with it, any blocks you put in it will continue placing blocks until it comes to a different block. It does not require a redstone signal. Um, only has a single spot for inventory and it's got a couple um, different modes that you can enable and disable. But this is the one that I like. It's the one I've used with um, the uh, rainbow tree farms um, that I did and um, so I like them a little better so let's let's go ahead and get into it here so what we're gonna do is we're going to sit down an auto placer there uh, facing into the auto placer we're gonna hit the block breaker now one of the things you're gonna want um, on the other side is a um, cauldron and in the cauldron you're gonna want to put water now facing away from, let's see, let's go ahead and take that one out. I'm gonna need a hopper also. Uh, facing away from there, you want the comparator facing that way. Uh, you want a block there, piece of redstone torch there, and then here you want a timer. Now the timer you can set to whatever you want based on your server capabilities. Um, for this, I'm going to put it at um, two, two tenths of a second. It's not milliseconds. Millisecond is like, never mind. <laughs> Different topic. <laughs> but so, what this is going to do is anytime there's a block right here, this comparator is going to turn on, uh, enabling the redstone on this block, which disables this redstone torch, which is, allows this timer to go. The nice thing about this is it will never get stuck. If there's a block here that it can't break or it can't do anything, or sometimes the redstone signals get out of sync, say the server lags or something gets funky, and then all of a sudden you've got a redstone signal on here and it's stuck. Whereas this with the timer, Anytime that torch is off, it's going to click. So anytime I put a block here. As fast as, it, as you can place it, it'll, it'll break a block. And that might even be something that you want to do is instead of using the auto placer is just put a timer on and just go. <laughs> but if you don't want to stand it, you know, so one of the things you do is you um, get a... So part of your system is you just make that as an output. So when no block is there, it's going to be on. Let's go back here. I think it, I'm curious how the, not bad. Um, I think uh, the, the other thing to note about the auto placer is it won't place a block if you're standing in it. So um, if you accidentally put a um, put a bunch of stuff in there and then all of a sudden things got start getting crazy, just jump in front of it. It's not a train, <laughs> uh, but it does get messy. But um, yeah, I hope that helps as far as making stuff. <laughs> uh, take care and have a good one.